Hey guys, Thomas here. What you're about to see is some footage of us testing a quad. One of our good friends that we've been speaking with over many years, he loves tinkering with things, playing with aero and lightweight and just all these fun concepts. We finally actually got to fly one of the quads that he's built and long story short, we had a really good time. This kind of tinkering and playing with things is what we really love doing, it's what we love sharing and yeah, just thought I'd show you this really cool thing he's been working on. Enjoy! We are flying the Aero Racer 5? Air Racer. Air Racer. Air Racer 5. Let's do a takeoff and let's get started. Are we clear? Yep. Sweet. Okay. So I've been putting a few packs on this thing. One thing to note, we're on 35 degrees camera tilt, so I can't really tilt it over as much as I'd like. However, we've been doing a lot of testing with it over the day today. And probably the key points, one, it's super lightweight. Uh, that sort of makes it really easy to steer. So you don't need to work the throttle as hard as you do on normal quads. The other thing too is, which probably the main, I guess, I wouldn't call it a party trick, but sort of the whole idea of it is it's a complete package, aero-y, super slippery frame. So it has some really cool characteristics in cornering where it's just super smooth. I'm going to see what Paul thinks. Yes. What do you think of the flying at the moment, Paul? I just can't believe that he got it down into the sixes, you know, within eight packs. And I mean, it's still, obviously in a race, it'd still come last at the moment. And it's still, you know, a second and a half off the pace with the JS1. But to me, uh, you know, for the first time seeing it used in action, I'm just so stoked, as I said to Thomas before a little bit wet this little H2O came out the eye because there's a long time I've spent in many prototypes to get to this point and to see it fly and you know to hear Thomas excited about it and say look it could definitely get into the fives maybe into the fours with a bit of camera tilt and a bit of tuning it really gives me the motivation to pull my finger out and do a lot more work and just you know get it right. Dude your thoughts? It's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, I think Paul pretty much covered everything. I mean, it still needs a bit of tuning and stuff. I mean, we only just got it today. But it just flies really nice. The other thing too, it's running really small motors and props at the moment. So, really impressive top speed, really impressive cornering characteristics. For a prototype, for something that at the end of the day is a test platform that's having parts swapped in it all the time, that's not going to be in super, super perfect trim at the moment. Uh, the fact that it's a readout at this stage is really lower, impressive. Lower, 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 done. And I mean, look at it, it's a complete package for something new, for a new concept. I think uh, it's just exciting to see where this goes. So this is basically the whole package. Uh, you've got super, super small motors, super small electronics, uh, really good weight distribution. Uh, aero right now, more optimized for straight line, would you say? Or is the idea to well, sort of just keep the I mean, also low? you've got to consider that like this is a bit like a tail. You know, so there is some stability that you're going to get from that. That's why I put the horizontal um, to the front. So this is more like your wing. This is more like your vertical stabilizer. So, I mean, in the turns, you will get a sense of that, I think. But, you know, you can tell me, you know, more from how it feels com compared to a regular X quad. This yeah. being a plus, the idea being that for the flight controller, it just deals with one axis. It just deals with, okay, this motor speed up, this motor slow down. So it can potentially react quicker. Although nowadays with the F7s, they're, they're pretty quick anyway. But I think it just simplifies the whole thing. And um, you know, I've always thought the pluses are a better idea. Yeah, probably the thing I noticed, which I didn't expect, and I'm not sure if it's, because I don't think it's the fact that it's a bit under tuned at the moment. Uh, when you corner with a lot of quads, especially stuff that's sort of, you know, got everything everywhere, when you corner a lot, you sort of feel the quad gets a bit inconsistent in sort of that 90 degree sort of bank. But then with this here, I guess because it's super smooth, um, it doesn't really have any weird tendencies. It was just, it was a really weird feel. It's something that we definitely need to play with more. I mean, this is one day of testing, 
it's not my camera tilt, it's not my field of view. But it's just a really unique feel, it's really interesting. Uh, I really can't wait to get more track time on something like this and just see what's possible. Is this going to be the new direction or, yeah, what can we learn? Well, I think, you know, for me, with the aim of it being sub 250, at the moment this one is not quite because of just, it's a new prototype and I had to put a bit of resin in it to stiffen it. But um, the previous one I did was was uh, 254 grams. So if I can get it down under 250, and potentially if the regulations go that way, this is going to make a lot of sense. And if everyone's flying them, you know, at the moment you may not be able to beat the JS1. With a bit of refinement, it might get close. But if everyone has to fly under 250 grams, then it makes a lot of sense. Like it's safer, less energy, less weight, less things to carry around. Look at the size of the battery. the battery. <laughs> That's powering that thing. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, leave a like and a comment, you know, let us know what you think or what are the cool projects you guys have been working on. Do share them because it's this kind of innovation that is really fun to play with. It's all learning and with the beauty of 3D printing and CNC routing, the ability to actually do this as individual people as opposed to companies, it's something really, really special that I think should be shared, should be enjoyed. Anyway guys, catch you in the next video. See you next time.